Hello guys, welcome to fading.net. So in this particular session, we are going to talk about how to send an email using C sharp. So for this particular demo, I have created a console application, which is in .NET 6.0 version. And for this demo, I have used the NuGet a library that is system.net.mail. So let's uh, walk, walk through the code. So here I have created a few variables. First is sender email. So sender email uh, is the one from which we are going to send the email. So for my case, I am using my Yahoo account. So second variable is to store the password. So uh, guys, this is not the same password that you are uh, used to log in your uh, Yahoo account, but you need to go to the setting of your mail account and you have to create an app key and that particular app key you have to use to send the email. So the next variable is recipient email. So recipient email uh, is the one to whom we are sending the mail. Now we have few variable for the dummy subject. We have the body. Let's go down. So that particular net.mail library give us a class smtp.client. So I have to create an object and here I need to pass the host name. So we are using the Yahoo uh, server. So for Yahoo, their host name is smtp.mail.smtp.mail.yahoo.com. Uh, now we have to uh, assign the port so for that particular host port number is 587 now we have to pass the sender email and sender password to network credential object so here i am passing both these to this now we have to enable the uh, ssl so guys ssl is basically required to establish a secure connection with your yahoo server so and I have also put it the description here like SMTP server requires secure connection to prevent unauthorized access and uh, it is basically a mandate and you must set this variable to true uh, to secure a sec to establish a secure connection if you make it false you will not be able to send the e uh, email their Yahoo server will going to reject your request to send the mail. Now the last variable is the timeout. So timeout is the one I mean like you created some code. So it will uh, wait till that time to send the mail. If it is not able to send mail for that particular time, so it will give you a timeout. So here I have value as 10,000 millisecond. So when you convert it into second, it is 10 seconds. So it will try to run your code to send your email till 10 seconds if it is not able to do it then it will uh, give a timeout to you and here at last i have created uh, there is one more object of that particular library there we pass the sender email recipient email subject and body and now smtp client provide a method called send there we pass this object and email is sent successfully so let's run this program and we will also check uh, on our mail whether it is uh, sent successful or not since i set the timer for 10 seconds okay so it will i mean uh, take some particular time so it says email sent successful so what was my recipient email it's vikas gupta uh, 8 june so let's go to my so these are some old mails also so if i go to the time 8 47 and here you can see 847 test subject is test email and we have some the body this is a test email so guys this is it uh, let me show you some more feature as well if i make this ssl uh, false let's see and let uh, and uh, let's see okay let me just uh, reduce some time as well uh, make it six second just run it see what particular error you are getting so see what it will say transaction failed server response was email rejected since secure connection was not established it rejected your uh, request to send the uh, email uh, let's do one more thing for the timeout let's put it as one second uh, I, i'm sure it will take more than one second so it will give you a timeout see again uh, okay okay it was due to uh, ssl being false let make it true now and we set timeout to 1 
one second. Let's see what message we are getting. See, it only wait till one second and it says operation has timeout. So guys, this is the end of my video. I hope you like it. If you like it, please like and subscribe my channel. Thanks. Thanks a lot, guys. Bye.